A state lawmaker wants to spend a million dollars to set up a breast milk bank. News 13's Francesca Washington has details. Right now, the only place mothers can donate is here in Albuquerque. But if the bill passes, there could be donor stations statewide. This is our freezers where we store raw milk that's ready to go. It's the only place in the state where mothers can donate breast milk. Our freezers are full and we are processing milk for the very first time right here in New Mexico from New Mexico moms going back to New Mexico babies. The Human Milk Repository of New Mexico opened its doors near Montgomery and San Mateo in Albuquerque back in 2018. They provide milk for infants of mothers battling addiction, adopted babies, and those born prematurely. The introduction of formula for these tiny infants uh, can cause lifelong complications. Board President Aaron Marshall says right now they're only reaching about 2% of the state's potential milk donors. The the need is greater than what we have, uh, which is why we're seeking to increase our operations. Now one New Mexico lawmaker hopes to change that. Representative Christine Trujillo is sponsoring House Bill 151. She's asking that $1 million be set aside for the milk bank to expand its services. It would allow me to do it on a larger scale and a more accurate scale. Right now they rely on grant money and private donors. They say money from the state would allow them to increase their staffing and create more donor station statewide. The community wins, the hospitals win, the economics of it absolutely makes sense and it's just the right thing to do for the community. That million dollars Trujillo is asking for would be given out over five years. After that, Marshall says the donor bank should be able to support itself. Back to you. All right, Francesca, thank you. Now, donors at the milk bank have to go through screening and physical exams before they are allowed to donate their milk and they're not paid for donating.